What's good everyone, it's Adam from Ami Music Mobile. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna go ahead and remake Travis Scott's I Know. The tempo for this one is 118 beats per minute and the track is produced by OZ, Coleman, Travis Scott, and Buddy Ross. We're gonna start off with the keyboards that you hear loop throughout the entire track. Now there's two patterns for this keyboard. Let's get to the first one. So for that sound, we're gonna go to Logic's browser over here. We're gonna go to Piano. We're gonna go to Processed and we're gonna to go to Subtle Dynamics Piano. And the sound is pretty close to the one in the original track. Let's go ahead and draw it in. All right, so there is the pattern right there. It took a minute, but we're gonna go ahead and make this sound more realistic sounding. So I'm gonna select all of these notes right here. I'm gonna go to functions. I'm gonna go to MIDI transform random velocity. And I'm gonna go from like 40 to 80 just to give it sort of different hits here and there. And it's gonna randomize that velocity after I hit select and operate. All right, now I'm gonna select them all once again. I'm gonna go ahead and quantize it to eight notes. And I'm gonna hit this more button right here on the inspector tab. And I'm gonna to go to the Q flam and just push that up a little bit so that the notes offset each other. And I'll go to about like 30 ticks or something like that. You'll see the notes are offset. And this will give a more realistic vibe when we play it back. So next, let's add in some reverb on top of the sound. I'm gonna to go to my effects section over here. I'm gonna to go to Logic's Space Designer. I'm gonna bring in a texture reverb. We're gonna to go to Warped Effects, Textures. And I'm gonna to go to the first one here. It's off my screen, Abstract Colors. Kind of gives like a little sparkle to the sound like in the original track. I'm gonna push the dry all the way up, but pull the wet back to something like that. All right, next let's go ahead and add in the bass that we hear in the intro. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. I'm gonna to go to Logic's library. We're gonna to go to bass and we're gonna to go to Liverpool bass. Next, let's go ahead 
to group these tracks together. I'm going to bring in a plugin called Sampled by yours truly. Uh, it's going off my screen here, but here is the plugin. It's just going to add some texture to this whole sort of instrument section. That just gives it that vinyl texture noise type of sound. Next, it's going to bring in that siren that happens at the beginning of this track. I'm going to go and duplicate this over eight bars. It sounds like this together. And then right at the end here, we got like this Vox sample. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the drum kit from now. I'm going to create a new software instrument track. And I'm going to go over to, not here, I'm going to go over to my library browser. I'm going to go to user patches. I'm going to go to drum kits. I'm going to bring in the I Know drum kit. Now there is a lot of samples that we got to go through in this remake here. We'll get to it. But this drum kit is from the Utopia Deconstructed kit. If you are interested in getting the sounds from the Utopia album, I put together a deconstructed kit for all of you. Link will be down below. Uh, it is called the Utopia Deconstructed Kit. Here it is right here. It has all the samples from every single track, minus one song that did not have drums, number 13, Parasail. But uh, let's get back to that vocal effect here. And it's going to take us into the next section. So let's start off with the secondary piano pattern. So there is the secondary keyboard pattern. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to select all of the MIDI notes. We're going to go to functions. We're going to go to MIDI transform, random velocity, and we're going to go stick to the same thing, 4080. I'm just going to move this aside here so you see what's actually happening. We're going to go and select and operate. It's going to randomize the velocity, give it more of a realistic vibe. And once again, we're going to select all of these. We're going to go to our inspector tab and we're going to do the same thing, quantize to eights, and go to QFLAM, pull that up to about 30. Now let's get to that stabby bass. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this Liverpool bass right here. So going to duplicate that over. So now we're going to go ahead and just manipulate the sound of this bass to give it more of that sort of buzzy sound that you hear in the original track. Right now, after the distortion, we'll be in a bit crusher just to give it some texture and noise. Let's go to Logic's Distortion. We'll go to Bit Crusher. And then lastly, we're going to bring back this EQ, except we're going to take off the top end and just roll off the low end a bit here. Because now we're going to bring in a sub bass that sort of layers underneath it, just as like a drony type of thing. We're going to go over to our instrument track. We're going to go to ES1 synthesizer. And we're going to go over to the synth bass, the deep bass preset. And let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. So bring an EQ 
I'm gonna filter out the top so it doesn't affect the other bass or clash with it. I'm gonna pull this a little bit more here. That's cleaner. All right, now let's go ahead and bring in that droney texture that's happening sort of in the mid-range section. Let's go ahead and bring in Logic's Alchemy. And we're gonna go over to synth pads and we're gonna go over to the alpha pad preset. We're gonna move it over to the filtered section, just like that. And let's go ahead and just copy down this. And that just gives us that mid range sort of dronal type of sound that we need. So if you mix that in together. Now let's get to the drums. Let's start off with that hi-hat pattern right over here. We have a little bit of a roll right over here, so let's go to repeat. Now let's get to that kick. Now let's get into some of that percussion stuff. We'll start with the zap. All right, let's go ahead and draw in that open hat. That tambourine. Finally, the snare. And let's get in that cowbell here as well. Kind of goes down here a little bit. I'm just gonna lower the velocity. Let's move on in the arrangement. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this section over. Actually, I don't need the piano and the bass because we're gonna bring back this piano from the intro. And uh, we're gonna create a new sort of stabby bass pattern right over here. Now we gotta take out some stuff for the arrangement's sake. So on the second half here, we're gonna cut the drums out about halfway point. And we'll just bring in some of those Travis Scott ad-libs right here. So it's lit and the yeah part at the end. So now let's go ahead and duplicate that entire first section over. We're going to take all of this, copy that over. So it's going to go from this and then the drum switch on the B part. So if I focus in on this section over here, the kick comes out and the snare comes out and we got to draw in some new drums. And let's get to yet another perk. And now that 808. We got the 808s in place. We actually got to take out the bass because those two are clashing. So we're going to take that out. And finally, let's put in the last percussion.
All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of the levels right, get a little bit of mixing in. We'll come back and listen to the remake that we just put together, I Know by Travis Scott, remade in Logic Pro. There is the remake of Travis Scott's I Know remade in Logic Pro. For your Logic users out there, I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you. Place it as a downloadable link below this video. If you don't use Logic, I got your back as well. I'm gonna export all the me stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum kit that you heard in this remake. You can find that play pack down below the like button as well. And once again, if you are looking for the drum sounds from Utopia, link will be down below to that deconstructed Utopia kit. But on that, if you do have any questions, it's going to talk in the comment section below or chat down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.